Good morning. I got my baby Jesus cup that I got down at St. Augustine. Yeah. So get on in here. It's plan and play day. And I have hair in my eyes. It's fluffy today. So get on in here. I'm going to pull something up. <clears throat> I just got strangled on a sip of coffee a while ago. And that's why I'm running a little late. But I'm opening up my iPad. Because I charged it yesterday. <laughs> it's at 100%. Yippee skippy. Let's see if I can get it. Y'all come on in. <clears throat> While I look this thing up, look up stuff. <clears throat> Come on in. People slow getting here this morning. You know, I kind of, it kind of feels like Monday to me, but I know it's Tuesday. But it feels like Monday. And Justin told me this morning that I need to take that out of my ear because it may be messing with my sound. <clears throat> Justin told me this morning that we might be getting snow on Thursday. Uh, ben just called me and uh, he doesn't know I'm doing a show right now. So he doesn't know what time it is. <laughs> So Patty send Ben a text and tell him I'm doing a show. <clears throat> anyway, it's Tuesday. Do you know where your plan is? Do you know what's for dinner? Do you know what you're doing the rest of the week? So that's what we kind of do today. We think about next week and we think about all the stuff we need to do. And we kind of get it on the calendar and take care of things because a little planning today is going to make your life next week a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Ben is at the clinic today getting some more fluids and some potassium. There he is. <clears throat> he forgot. Anyway, folks, we got a Flash sale going on for our calendars. Where is, uh, we have the multi one that's half price. I've got a bucket over here. Everything's falling. Yes, everything is falling. We have $10 off on our carpet sweeper. Speaking of carpet sweeper. Here it is. And I just realized <clears throat> so planning. If you're going to the grocery store and you're going you have to go to the grocery store just to pick up ground beef, that is not a wise use of your time. Now, if you go to the grocery store and you pick up 10 pounds of ground beef, and you stick it in your crock pot with a little water, then you can cook up 10 pounds, maybe four or five onions in there, because most everything has onions and ground beef. <clears throat> I lost my Kleenexes. Hold on, I need Kleenex. There we go. <clears throat> Avalanche, my tools fell over. I had them in a, I need a taller garbage can. That's what I need, a tall garbage can. <clears throat> I might be able to recycle the pink one, pink bucket. Anyway, so get on in here. We're finally hitting 200 people, finally get it. <clears throat> so everybody grab your coffee, hot chocolate, tea, whatever you got. Not sniffles, just runny nose. 
And it was because I got strangled a while ago. <clears throat> anyway, everybody, share our videos. We're going to talk about something fun today, planning and playing. So let's discuss that 10 pounds of hamburger meat. If you got to buy one, then no, I'm not sick. I just got strangled. <clears throat> so right now we have a sale going on our calendars. And the calendar has plenty of room for, let me find February. You know it's leap year. Has plenty of room <clears throat> for your menus. Now if you sit down today, and you can do it right here. Think of how many things you can cook with hamburger meat. You can put hamburger meat You can put hamburger meat, you can cook with it twice a week. But if you pre-cook it, if you pre-cook it, and then bag it up in two cup packages, or three cup packages, um, <laughs> I got strangled on a cup, on a sip of coffee. That's what I got strangled on. Sometimes it goes down the wrong way. Now, Cooking that hamburger meat in the crock pot takes about three hours. I've done a video on it. You put a cup of water in with it. It breaks it down into lots of little pieces. You put some onion in it. You got hamburger meat pre-cooked for your favorite hamburger helper. And my favorite hamburger helper, in fact, I might cook that tonight, <clears throat> is made with a can of golden mushroom soup. Yep, golden mushroom soup, a tub of sour cream, or a stick of cream cheese. And you got hamburger stroganoff that you can pour over. You put your hamburger meat in there. It takes longer to cook the noodles, especially if you've got the pre-cooked hamburger meat. <clears throat> and there you have it. Dinner. But if you have never done a menu plan, Look back on your last week and see what you cooked those days. Just look and see. Try to remember what you had for dinner Sunday night. Try to remember what you had for dinner Saturday night. Well, those, there was a Valentine's Day in there. But look at that and write it down. Or sit down and write down everything you cook with hamburger meat. I've got a list you can look up on our website that is uh, like 25 things. There's Taco Tuesday. There's casseroles, Mexican casseroles. There's um, hamburger soup. Rebecca likes to make hamburger soup. <clears throat> so start thinking about everything you cook with hamburger meat. Sloppy Joe's. Well, it's just an elastic watch band, folks. That's all it is on my iWatch. I love my iWatch because it works with my little earbuds. <laughs> AirPods, I mean. <clears throat> so sit down. You can make a week's worth of menus in five minutes sitting here. Another thing you can do is take some little note cards, three by five note cards. Write everything down on a note card. Hold them up. Let the kids pick. And you made a game out of menu planning. You can do, uh, if you've got some colored note cards, you can make pink note cards, beef stuff with hamburger and beef. You can make yellow note cards, pork, if you eat pork. You can have a green card for fish and shrimp and things like that pork, beef, pasta. How many pasta dishes do you make? Do they have hamburger meat or do, or do they have clams or something like that? There's, <clears throat> or you can menu plan, think of menu planning per the, the type of food. This is the way Robert and I ch choose if, if we go um, 
groceries. If we go, not grocery shopping, because y'all know I don't do grocery shopping. Robert does grocery shopping. The only time I really do any grocery shopping is at Ben's house. And a lot of times I'll just call up, I'll, I'll get online and order from, from Walmart. So what you do is you take, do you want Chinese? Have you ever cooked Chinese? It's easy. Piece of cake. You cut up little pieces of beef and you make a little sauce, throw it over some rice. You've got, you've got um, <clears throat> Mongolian beef. There's recipes everywhere for this stuff. And the sticky notes on the calendars are a fun way. And now that we have posted note tape, posted note tape, look at this. How wonderful is this? You can cut it the right size for your calendar. And you can put the entree here. Now, you're on your own when it comes to the, the sides. But always throw in a salad and maybe a potato or another type of vegetable. Yep. So menu planning can be e as easy as note cards. Coming up with some... Uh... Oh... Yeah, I forgot chicken. Chicken's another. How many things do you cook with chicken? Yep. How many things do you cook with chicken? So taking the time to sit down, I mean, 15 minutes while we were watching the show, you can come up with a bunch of menus. And Leanne liked, used to like to make her kid's favorite thing was roast chicken. You put chicken in the oven with salt and pepper and spices on it. Yum. You can make barbecue chicken. You don't, yeah, you, Yvonne's right. You don't have to over, you don't, she says she overthinks. You don't have to overthink. Coconut, that's Robert's favorite. He loves that. Easy menu planning. And it's going to save you money. Like you would not believe when you menu plan. You can have a meal for $10. Uh-oh. You can have a meal for $10 for a family of four. It's not hard. Justin, his whole family loves Mexican stuff. He has learned to make Mexican nachos and quesadillas. and That's their go-to menu plan is when all else fails, you have chicken quesadillas and nachos. And, but when you're, it's not, it's not difficult. It really isn't. If you think it's difficult, it will be. But if you plan to cook for your family, then you can put together some, some TV dinners for other family members or your next door neighbor. Posted note has tape. Yep. Posted note has tape. So menu planning is going to save you money. You you complain about not having money for this, that, and the other thing. Well, it's because you're not menu planning. And that's the only real place we have that we can save money. Our electric bills, it costs us a lot of money to get our electric bills down <clears throat> because we need to insulate our houses and, and do all kinds of stuff like that. But with menu planning, you just have to sit down for five minutes. That's the best bang for the buck. And then go to the grocery store or sit down with your computer and go pick it up at, at Walmart. But this hamburger meat is a cool way. And when you cook a big roasted chicken, take it all off the bone. Don't stick the whole chicken carcass in the refrigerator. Plan other meals with that chicken. Like you do with turkey. I mean, you can buy turkeys at a, at a decent price. You can buy Boston butts during um, holiday time, 4th of July and stuff. You can buy one and get another one. You can make barbecue out of that. Plan on leftovers. Leslie Ann says it's not brain surgery. 
You just got to do it. And it's much cheaper than it's much cheaper than buying these pre-packaged big meals at Costco. You go in and you spend a thousand dollars at Costco. Where are you gonna put all that stuff? So I have a challenge for you. I want you to go look in your pantry and your refrigerator and your freezer. And I want you to plan your menus by what you have in your pantry, refrigerator, and freezer. What have you got that you need to cook that's going to spoil? You know, what, what have you got that needs to be done? Needs to be used up. Because my granny always said, every, pe- every bit of food you throw in the trash is like throwing dollar bills down the trash can. And your slow cooker, tomorrow is Wednesday. That's when we, cl- we clean out our refrigerators. I cleaned mine out today because tra- today's trash day. I got a head start. And when you buy a rotisserie chicken, you can get them pretty cheap. But plan on the leftovers. Plan on the leftovers. Justin's Granny Elizabeth, she planned every meal around what potatoes she was going to cook. Whether it was country fried potatoes, mashed potatoes. um, She had all kinds of potatoes that she would make. And she planned her meal around that. So potatoes were a staple in in Justin's dad's home when he was growing up. So whatever you plan your menus around, have a basic weekly plan. Is it going to be Mexican and Italian, Chinese, uh, American, and then start over again. Casserole, leftover, soup. Look at that. You've done it. You can turn leftovers into a casserole. You can turn leftovers into soup. My granny always kept a milk carton in her refrigerator, in her freezer. And if she had just like two spoons full of butter beans, she'd put them in that milk carton. If she had like a half a cup of corn left over from dinner, instead of putting it in the refrigerator to ruin, she put it in this milk carton. Now, I got off of eBay, a Tupperware ice cream container, which is rectangular. And I was able to, that's where I put our leftovers in. And then when it gets full, you got the makings of soup. You throw a can of crushed tomatoes with it and chop up some chicken and bam, you got soup. So planning for leftovers and utilizing those leftovers, I challenge you to come up with three meals that are in your pantry right now. And it's gonna save you money. Write those meals down. Let them become a staple in your home. And as you use things out of your pantry, write it on your grocery list so that you don't run out of stuff. Keep your pantry stocked because that's gonna help you to cook. And Justin and Emily even like to make their own pizzas. They have a great pizza pizza dough recipe, and they make their own pizzas. Uh, Emily likes to make, make the pizza dough up, and she freezes it, and she stacks them up and puts them in a bag, and then she's got the pizza dough ready to go, and all they've got to do is put the sauce on it. And you can buy pizza sauce in a can, or you can make your own pizza sauce in your crock pot and bag it up to utilize. Because it doesn't take long to thaw it out when you lay it flat. You put it in a little quart bag, you know, a a cup of it, because it doesn't take much for a pizza, and lay it flat and freeze it. And then you lay it on your countertop, and in five minutes, it's thawed up. Or you can stick it in hot water if you want to. So beef stew, I make beef stew out of leftover roast beef. I make chicken pot pie out of leftover roast chicken. So folks, utilize your leftovers. Don't throw them in the trash. Use them up. Plan for them. So if you're going to make a big beef roast on Sunday, plan on having beef soup on Wednesday. 
cut up the leftover roast beef or beef stew. Oh, mystery soup is pretty good. You can clean out your refrigerator too and put all those little little tubs of condiments and stuff and clean out the bottles. <clears throat> and you're going to have a surprise chicken. Put it over rice or over noodles. So check out our Facebook, not our Facebook, our um, YouTube page. And there's a whole section on how to make simple things from everything from Thanksgiving dinner with turkey and the works to making biscuits. I teach you how to make biscuits. So folks, take some time today to plan some menus and then get the get the stuff on your grocery list and if you need help, go to savingdinner.com. Leanne can help you. If, but it's not rocket science. It's not brain sur surgery, as Leanne said. It's simple when we just do it. The hardest part is sitting down with your note cards and doing it. And now that we have posted no tape, which makes me happy. It really does make me happy. Except I broke the broke a tooth off my tape and it doesn't do well. So y'all have a a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you at three o'clock. Yep, three o'clock. And that's when I want you to tell me what menus you've planned. Tupperware bowl of work. It just has to be done. Just do it, folks. The do it now principle kicks in and those leftovers from dinner, you can get these little um, bento boxes on, on Amazon and you can put meals together and put them in the freezer. And then you have a meal to take to your, your parents or save them up for a week and go fill their freezer up. They'll have food and all they got to do is stick it in the microwave. That's it. I love you all. And oh, I meant to show you our new purpley package. I don't know how to spell purpley. How would y'all spell purpley? I tried to put that put that in something today. There is our new purpley package. Look how purple that is. There's the feather duster, the big mop, the rubber sweeper, the carpet sweeper, another mop cloth, the multi wand, the vase for the toilet bowl brush, three purple rags, and a rubber scrubber. It doesn't get any better than that. Y'all were fussing because we discontinued the um, Fly Lady FCC pack, the Fly Lady Complete Cleaning Kit. And we did that because we were getting low on the mops and then we got this big purple mop in and it was so cute and I dropped it It all. I'm not going to go down and get it, but purple, purpley is purpley a word. I don't know if it is a word, but I've made it up, but we love purple. Purple makes us happy. You know, it's been a hot pink year. I think our calendars this year are going to go back to purple. But it's been a hot pink year with my new book that came out last a year ago, December. Hot pink is a good color. But with the prices we have on the calendars right now, you can get a calendar just for menu planning. Just for menu planning. And once you do a whole year, you've got your menu plans done up for a whole year. Be consistent with it. Tuesday's plan and play day. Wednesday's clean out your refrigerator. So y'all have a good day. And get some menus planned. You'll be happy. It's a pretty happy color. Leanne's right. Purple riff. <laughs> 
Okay, y'all. I love you all. I will see you at 3 o'clock. Bring your tea. I'm going to finish up my coffee so I, in case I get strangled again. See you later. Bye.